that lead up to the top of my lighthouse here, 209 to be precise, but I'm glad that you made it all the way to the top. I'm really glad that you've come to visit me. My name is Wick, the Wiki. Why are we called Wikis, you ask? That's a special name for lighthouse keepers. Long ago, when lighthouses were built, they used huge lanterns to make the light, and the lighthouse keepers had to keep trimming the wicks to make sure that the light kept burning. Today, lighthouses use much fancier things like LED lights and lenses, but we're still called wikis. My job is to make sure that the lighthouse is always lit and bright at night to keep ships safe out on the ocean. The lighthouse shows the ships where the rocks and cliffs are and keeps them safe and avoids them crashing into the shore. We wikis are always here to help and to make sure that they don't get lost in the dark. I love being a lighthouse keeper. I love the smell of the sea and the salt and even all the stairs in my staircase up here. I love knowing that I make sure that the light shines and it helps other people. It reminds me of something that Jesus once said about light. Hello, I'm Glowy the Glowworm. Jesus said that he is the light of the world and that anyone who believes in him will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Light helps us to see things clearly, to be safe, and to know where we're going. The dark can be scary, but the light brings us comfort and peace. Jesus explained that the, he is the light for everyone who believes in him, and he tells us that we should be the light for others too. When we know and when we love Jesus, it's like his light lives in us. Or maybe a better way to think about it is that he is like the sun. And when we live our lives for him, we can reflect his light to others. God wants us to bring his light and love into the world in the way we love and serve others. Ah, yes. Jesus is the true light of the world. And we are meant to reflect his light, to bring hope to the world, and to share his good news with other people. What is the good news, you ask? Let's ask someone who knows a lot about the news. News, more news, more bad news, more bad news, terrible news. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm here at the news desk getting ready to report on what's been happening all over the world today. And I've got to say, other than our rugby team winning yesterday, there isn't really much good news coming through here. There is always a lot of news about wars, about sad and bad, horrible things that happen everywhere. But what gives me hope is that there is always good news. It's the good news about Jesus or the gospel. The word gospel literally means good news. The good news of God is that He loves each and every one of us. That Jesus came to die for us, that we can be in relationship 
with God and so that no matter what happens here on earth, we can know that we can be with God forever and find true life and joy in Him. Isn't that good news? While Jesus was on earth, one day he read from the Old Testament, from the book of Isaiah. You can find it in your Bible in Isaiah chapter 61. Jesus read this amazing passage and said that it was about him. The passage says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come, and with it the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn in Israel, we will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. Jesus came to give us good news, and to be the good news for us, because of him, we can always have hope and life, now and forever. After Jesus died for us on the cross, we know that he rose to life again. He appeared to some of his disciples and one day, he told them to meet him on a hill in Galilee. The disciples went there, just like he had told them to. Suddenly, Jesus was there with them. They all worshipped Jesus even though some disciples still doubted and had a hard time believing that it was really Jesus they were seeing. Then Jesus said to them, God has given me all the power and authority there is on earth and in heaven. So now, go and make disciples of all the people everywhere. Tell everyone about me and teach them to obey the laws and rules I have given you. I will always be with you and I will give you my power to do amazing things and to tell people about me. Then Jesus was taken up into heaven. The disciples obeyed Jesus and went out, telling people about Jesus and everything he had done. Just like Jesus' first followers went to tell people the good news about him, we're all supposed to tell others the good news too. How special that we get to share the story of God's love, light, and hope with all of those around us. Jesus is the light of the world, and when we tell other people about him, it's like we're lighting up the world around us. Thank you so much for joining me today. We hope to see you next time as we learn more about how we can be the light and the salt of the earth. Ooh.